All right. You know what? We need to learn more about Seth. I don't know a thing about Seth other than the Valentine's event from very long ago <laughs> that I don't even have recorded. Excuse me. What the heck? She has a... <clears throat> oh, nice to meet you! Thank you for coming all this way! Greetings to my dearest guest, our hero, and the best actor of this generation. I am but a messenger, appointed as your guide for this event. Today, you shall bear witness to the pinning of a new legend. The time is now, and the venue is Tokyo. And yet that place is neither now nor in Tokyo. Not... The stage for our spectacle is a land where illusion and reality meld, and dust clouds dance through the air. <clears throat> the look on your face tells me that you don't understand. Worry not, all will become clear in time. Now, shall we begin? 1001 Nights. I shall tell you the tale of a world far, far away. Desert Journey. We'll meet again in the West. Oh, dear. Tell me about it. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Beaming down its blessings. <laughs> it's hot. It's It's too hot! It's, it's way, way too, too hot! hot! <laughs> I see the options. <sighs> Damn global warming. What? what? Global warming's really scary? I wanna go camping. I want to go to the beach. Oh, then I want to watch fireworks. Uh, I have to go outside for all of those. Just thinking about it is making me sweat even more. <sighs> and Shiro is just... Oh my god. That That's me. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> What's that face for, Shiro? Why aren't you saying anything? You usually be all like crying about being crying about being hot won't cool you down. You know, screaming at us like a hysterical madman. Oh, believe me, I'd do it if I could, but I don't even have the strength to get started. <laughs> it's so hot, even tap water comes out boiling. More so, I'm forced to use the air conditioner all the time. Last night, I set it so it would turn off while I'm asleep out of habit. When I woke up, I was drenched in sweat! And this sort of and this sort of heat wave and air conditioner is essentially your life support system. <laughs> oh, man. oh, this is enjoyable already. Hmm. <sighs> You need to suck it up. What are you, a drill sergeant? We wouldn't be suffering like this if we could get by on sheer willpower, you know? If I'm gonna be walking around like this, then... <sighs> and resume. Ugh. If 
I'm gonna be walking around like this, then I need something to cool me down. <laughs> and so, ta-da! I brought ice cream! Wait a second. Huh? It's all warm and melty! No! Of course it is, idiot! Watch it! You're making a mess with that soupy ice cream! I can't believe it! This cooler must be busted! <sighs> it's very possible, Ryota. This sort of heat is sure to limit the effectiveness of such a device. This water I, that I bought just a moment ago is already wa as warm as bath water. <laughs> it sure is hot today! This must be record heat! It's almost as if we are in a desert right now! That's kind of cool, right? What? Cool? Also, how are you suffering, Hanuman? I'm the child of the wind, the sun, and the monkey. This is easy peasy for me. This heat just makes it perf just makes it the perfect time to go swimming. Wow, every step I take, every breath I take, I'm pouring sweat. I feel like you say we have record heat waves every day. If we are in a desert right now, at this rate, it'll feel like being in a furnace by winter. Don't say that. <laughs> the heat's getting to you. What's that supposed to mean? I was trying to help you guys chill out, but... The only chilling thing you hear was that terrible joke of yours. Embarrassing. The heat is too intense. I think that pieces of my fur are smoldering. I think we should have it... I think we should have retreated to a cool room. Are you okay, Moritaka? You look miserable. Akio's at the safe house, so we could go there if you want. No, I can handle this heat. Warriors are resilient! Also, it's not as though I could leave now. I was invited here by Brandon. <laughs> Do not get so worked up. You will need to resist even higher heats than this, Moritaka. This is nothing like the previous years. Would it, not, would it not be best that you refrain from going outside during the daytime? In any case, our goal is the center of Rapo the Rapongi Guild's territory. We are heading for the resort established in the casino after its re reconstruction. However, I cannot fathom why we must go in this heat. We were invited by Hakuman, so... Why did I accept an invitation from Hakuman? Lady Hakuman? She is one of the transients who rep control Rapongi, correct? I have never liked her, to be honest. Even if you and Hakuman are friends, I have no plans of letting my guard down. Yeah, you're so uptight! It's hot out, and you still don't want to go swimming? Of course I do not. What good would a guard be if they wore clothing unfit for battle? Wait, what are you going to wear as a swimsuit then? A loin cloth? Such clothing is not fit for swimming! Also, I am not talking about whether or not I own a swimming suit right now. I'm speaking of the mindset in which I am going to this resort, as a guardian. Going into enemy territory is... Alright, I got it already! Jeez, I swear we keep meeting pricks who are just like Shiro! What's that supposed to mean, Kingo? I'm sure everyone is eager to hear your explanation. Ouch! Cut it off! It, it hurts! Hey, Shiro, you both got brains and brawn. What should we call you? You got... Hey, Shiro, you got both brains and brawn. What should we call you? <laughs> I'm gonna start calling you Battle Brains! That's got a nice ring to it! That sounds like something out of a ranger show for little kids. I swear, I've seen an action figure of Battle Brains before. Could you please not call me names like that? Suffering in this heat alongside you all is too much! Toji may be acting a bit extreme, but it's not every day that you get invited to a resort before it opens to the public. Plus, it was built by Hawkman. That means it has to be super snazzy. A, w a wave pool, a lazy river, heck, there's probably even a beach! I'm excited to see what kind of food they have, too! Ah, this is gonna be so much fun! I can't believe Hawkman's still doing stuff like this! It's probably g just gonna get destroyed again! I'm sure it'll be okay! I was just talking to Satsoko when we were gaming the other day! 
And he told me that Hawkman's been working so hard recently, so everything should be okay for a while. For a while? That doesn't give me much confidence that things are really going to be okay. Are we about done chatting? Are you all fine with ignoring one of your allies during a crisis? Huh? What do you mean? Um, Moritaka. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. A polar bear! A polar bear? The ice caps! They're melting! <laughs> well, we gotta get those clothes off. Y yeah, here, I'll get his shirt. You get his pants, Brandon. Please do not worry about me. I can take my own clothing off. M Moritaka, no! We're in public! We're in pu uh, this still isn't enough to cool me down. It appears I have underestimated the heat as an opponent. He is suffering from heat stroke. He appears to have lost his ability to think rationally. This isn't a time to be analyzing the situation. We need to help Moritaka. We need to help Moritaka. <laughs> We re we're really in a pickle! I guess it's about time I broke out my newest item! My Giga Drencher 9000! What? Oh crap, I forgot to load it up, load up with water! <clears throat> I mean, even if you put water in it, it will be boiling by now! That's what you're focusing on? We need to find Mori Taka a cool place to rest! Let's go! But, but where can we go? I suppose it cannot be helped. I will carry Moritaka to a medical facility in the area. Wait, we're already all, all the way out here, which means the only place we can take him is... I suppose that's our only option now. Hurry, let us go! Ugh, we can't even walk around safely! What the hell's up with this heat?! Thank you.